So, hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining this webinar. And we are uh, really thankful to Asif Hafiz uh, for like taking out time uh, to conduct this specific webinar on financial modeling using Power BI. So we are kind of uh, uh, an Excel enthusiast group, and we are operating for like over 10 years uh, with the name of Excel Advice, and we are sponsored by awesome technologies inc and awesome Technologies is a dallas texas based company who actually is in the software space um so i just wanted to hand over it to asif asif you can start uh, with your agenda thank you so much uh thank you very much uh, noruddin surani can you please guide me if uh, i can share my screen Sure, sure, you can just uh, click on your screen to share. Okay, thank you very much, Nuruddin Sarani, and thank you, Excel Advice. It's been wonderful experience with Excel Advice. I'm with them, uh, with them uh, for so many years, and uh, this is my, by the way, second webinar with them, and first was conducted in, way back in 2014. Guys, we are here for financial modeling using Microsoft Power BI Business Intelligence. This is a short and free program by Excel Advice. And uh, why we will be learning Power BI? Because if we see at the Gartner's report for the year 2022, you can see in terms of business intelligence tools, Microsoft is the... So I was discussing why Microsoft Power BI, since there are so many business intelligence tools into the market. And uh, if you people are from finance background and you want to utilize it, uh, to automate your task, yes, you can do. And today we will learn how you can automate your task, how you can map your table. If you have uh, <clears throat> tablet data in 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 order or in a proper shape, in a proper tablet for, form, so it would be very easy for you to uh, visualize the things uh, with the automation uh, processes, right? Let me move forward. Okay, why today we are listening the word the big data, big data is into the market, and they will be gathering so many. I mean, huge data. All those terms is not new. It is from the year 1990s. But since last a decade, last uh, I mean 10 years, you will be hearing big data into the market, and uh, you will be gathering so much information. Uh, world will be dependent on data instead of oil. So there are some course and uh, this is not the case that we can uh, let it go as it is. So there is something. And we witnessed today that there are more data uh, related jobs, data analytics, uh, data science, data analysis, etc. That's why Power BI is the leader into the market, you know, market because it hit exactly, it nailed it, I mean, uh, into the market strategy. Why use Power BI? Because it starts from free. free. You can download desktop version free of cost. There is no, no cost, but if you go for Tableau, it has uh, I mean some cost. It has big data connectivity. Not only you can connect with Microsoft Excel, but you can connect with SQL Server. You can connect with SAP. You can connect with the SAP HANA 4, Oracle, IBM. So there are so many databases in gen. Uh, with the progress of time, we will learn there are uh, many connecting engines available by which we can connect our data. We can consolidate our multiple data reports. It has drag and drop functionality, quick sharing, drill down functionality. It has AI features, the biggest online community. That's why Power BI is the leader into the market. And here are some links I'll be, of course, sharing with you guys the PDF representation slide. So you can click on the link. You can read what Power BI is. You can download the Power BI desktop. There are pricing as well. Uh, there are three types of pricing, right? So you can click on the link and you will learn. Power BI e-learning resources are available on the site and you can just uh, I mean, go through and learn at your uh, own pace. Uh, this, was, this is a little bit about me. <clears throat> I'm Microsoft certified trainer. Uh, by qualification, I'm FGMA and MS Finance. I'm holding Microsoft Certified Trainer back since uh, 2012, and I'm in the market for more than 21 years of experience. My area of expertise mainly in oil and gas sector, petrochemical, and 
manufacturing. Currently, I'm residing in Saudi Arabia, and uh, I have trained so many um, Excel and Power BI users uh, by conducting live trainings, not only in my country, Pakistan, but UAE, Qatar, Bahrain, and Saudi Arabia. Uh, mainly, <coughs> I offer advanced Excel reports, dashboard reports, financial modeling using Excel, advanced financial modeling using Power BI, etc. I run three Udemy courses you can see at the bottom. And uh, if you want to learn, you can click on the link. One, two, three, these are the three courses. I run a YouTube channel as well. You can follow me there. So let's get started. Uh, I am Microsoft certified MCSA basically. The stage I secured by passing both of the exams. These exams are no more available. After that, it was replaced by DA100, but now you'll see PL300, PL500, AI900, there, AZ900, there are so many exams. Uh, okay, what is Power BI? Basically, it's, it is the collection of a software. It contains four powerful features but I will say not only for those four powerful features which you enjoy in Microsoft Excel as well, but it will give you liberty or privilege to prepare dashboards within few clicks. Within five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you can prepare some complex dashboards and it can automate your reports. It has, uh, I mean, what are these four features? First one is a Power Query. It connects your data. Uh, with the data source, it imports and transform your data. So this is Power Query. This is really very useful, uh, powerful tool. Math, for math data management, we have Power Pivot, where we learn DAX language. First was the M language, second is the DAX language, data analysis expressions. This is really very powerful language. Visualizing metrics with Power View and Power Map. So these are the geo of visuals. If you want to see world map and sales based on the countries or cities, you can see on the map. Then you can share and collaborate, of course, your reports. You can consume these reports. These are the four building blocks data set, reports, visualizations, and tiles. So you can prepare based on tiles, you can prepare some useful dashboards, effective. Uh, effectively, you can communicate with your management, with your subordinates, you can set KPIs, you can distribute them, uh, you can view, there are a lot of uh, uh, things you can enjoy within Power BI. So data analysis can analyze multiple results quickly. If you read question, I mean, let me, okay, read first question, how much sale or profit margin earned this year? So there are three elements if you focus on. The red part is the dimension table, okay? So here, if you see one, two, three, four, five, uh, the star schema uh, screenshot you can see on the screen, right? So all these five tables are the filter table, dimension table from where you will be picking. For example, years, salesman, uh, it, uh, I mean, uh, employee name, et cetera. So, you can pick all these informations from the dimension table, but what are your main measures? Measures come from your fact table, and your fact table lies here. So this is your fact table, okay? Let me just remove it. So this is your fact table. So fact table contains main data. For example, sales, profit margin, sales trend, sales growth, profit, what was profit last year? So these are the powerful measures which you can create within Power BI very easily. Okay, let's talk about the data connectivity. You can connect with any data source, um, but it should be available. I mean, data engine should be available within Power BI. You can connect with multiple text files. You can connect with CSV files. You can connect with single Excel file. You can connect with Excel tables. You can connect with multiple Excel files, contains multiple sheets. Yeah, that's the very important uh, uh, tool within Power Query. Microsoft, uh, building connection to a folder and combining all the files into one table. Why this is necessary? To merge and combine all of your results. So here I will tell you that uh, our BI report, so 
uh, I will share you the current month and year to date. Those who are from finance, so they are familiar with the CM in YTD profit and loss dashboard. CM in current month and YTD mean year to date data. So it will create, it will calculate measures which can calculate year to date automatically if you have current month data. Current month data mean monthly data. It could be January, February, March, April on a separate sheet, separate file or separate table. So you can connect and you can combine all of the data. For example, I will <clears throat> tell you that there are three years data in my a folder I will show you after a uh, few minutes the folder as well. So example limited has the trial balance. So these are the trial balance. It contains balance sheet data as well and income statement data. But my purpose is to calculate year to date based on maybe the Q1. For example, this is Q1, this is Q2. I want quarter wise report also. I want month wise report. I want year wise report. Right. I want YTD reports as well. It would be very difficult in Microsoft Excel, or you may uh, spend so much time to calculate these measures or the cal uh, formulas or the extra columns, but you will realize it is very easy within Power BI. If I talk about Power BI, if it doesn't mean that it can be done only in Power BI. Yes, you can done in Microsoft Excel, but using these four powerful features, which was not available before Excel or Office 2010. So in Microsoft Excel 2010, the first time they introduced Power Query. And Power View, Power Map, I mean, came, came all along, all of the four features came uh, as from uh, 2003, Office 2013. If you have Office 365, you will be enjoying all of the features. If you have Office 2013, uh, it has different compatibility, 16, 19, it has different compatibility. But if you are working on Microsoft Excel, the Office 2007 or before, oh, these tools are not available. Right guys, so there is one mapping table as well, where I have mapped that these two uh, items are uh, saved. Then 2X stands for cost of sales. Then 3X stands for operational expenses, etc. So I will tell you how we can map, how we can designing the map table and correlate with each other, right? So let's discuss what, uh, what contains in that folder, mapping PNL. Task is to create a three years monthly data, not monthly, it could be. YTD, quarterly, and yearly data. <clears throat> and we have one chart of accounts. And then we have to create time intelligence features. That, that of, of course, I will tell you, build a dashboard. But before building dashboard, this is really very important. Power pivot. So these are the measures, as I was telling you in previous slides. The blue color sign was measures. So you have to create these measures. But once so all of the measures or these formulas will be available uh, anytime within your data model so this is the data model if you see if i go back previously so we have uh, if that is the balance sheet so i'm not interested to bring this data i will be interesting to bring only income statement data right so what i have to prepare i need revenue main item i need i mean under revenue okay what are the revenue total comes from so it comes from royalty and sales then cost of sales then operational expenses etc so and based on this i we can prepare uh, these two measures slicers and pnl by period we can create any visual the way you want and the way you want it to present your data right so let's get started I don't want to keep these uh, extra lines on my presentation, right? Okay, so yeah, I have uh, this folder, right? 
So first of all, you need to download Power BI Desktop, which you might have already downloaded. Once you will download a green screen or the yellow screen will pop up, uh, you can close it down straight away. So I have already opened this blank Power BI file, right? Let me close it and why not to have it uh, from scratch so that you can better understand what will appear when you click on Power BI. So I have clicked on the Power BI file now. It will start opening the blank file for me. If we have already latest version, you will see this green uh, pop-up window. Otherwise you would see this uh, yellow, black and yellow pop-up window. So I can straight away close it down uh, to save us the time what we are doing right now. Okay, so this is my folder guys. Uh, my task is, uh, I have one logo, uh, there is a, subfolder, it contains three files, uh, three PNL data files, for example, let me open the first one. Uh, okay, so I was telling you that I have a Excel file, so I opened uh, my first file, right, example limited, it, it contains some data based on some codes and description and month-wise information. But what I want, I want all of the data. For example, I want all of the sales 12 months to be combined. We can show this 2.8 million. If you can see at the bottom, you will realize that this is 2.8 million. So 2.8 million, I want to show monthly. I want, and sometimes maybe there are some slices. I want to show quarterly, uh, uh, or you can say yearly, etc. So. I want data to be shown differently. So first of all, we need to combine all of the months. We need to pull all of the uh, columns into one and values in another column. So instead of 14 columns, I need four columns only. So we will learn how easy this is within Power BI, right? So first thing is you need to close your ex current Excel file. So let me close it, but before closing this Excel file, let me show you the mapping table as well. Yeah, this is my mapping table, right? Right now, right now the screen you are seeing is, um, okay, so I have to, I have to switch just a minute. Okay, okay, all right, I got, I think there is, I am keeping things manually, maybe, yeah. Mm. Yes, guys, my, now I think you can see my Power BI file, right? Okay, thanks for the confirmation. Okay, what I was uh, telling you that you, can, you, you have different options to connect your data. For example, I can select directly, uh, from, from here, as you can say, import from Excel, or I can go here and I can select Excel workbook, or I have this option, connect data, okay? I'm going into connect data, and here you can find different data sources, okay? Sorry, uh, let me close this view, yeah. You can find different sources, connecting engine instead. So let me select more, I will tell you uh, what are the different options available. Now you can see this dialog box, it shows you get data from where. So these are the options available. First, if I select file, now you can see there is there are Excel files, XML file, text file, folder option, PDF, etc. So there are different file types available. If I select database, so you will see there are different data bases available. If your database is IBM, SQL Server, Teradata, SAF, et cetera, so you can select accordingly. This is important to select the right connecting engine. Otherwise, you won't be able to set data within Power BI. So we have Power Platform database, we have Azure service as well, we have online services as well, et cetera. So my first task is to select 
file and select Excel workbook. So I'm straight away going to select it. And we'll pick my 2017 data. Right, here it is. Okay. So I, what I will do, I will just select table. So there are two things it's uh, uh, important to remember is if you see this blue color sign, this is a table. Let me select this table. Now you will realize it is a proper table, right? Okay, Let's just a minute. Somebody is unable to join. He is very close to me. And let me just send him the text, please. Um, if anyone from Excel Rise can help, if someone is in between, how he or she can join? Because people are sending me text. Right. <laughs> so this is my table. This is the sheet. It is up to you uh, which option you want to choose. Choose either you want to connect with your sheet, either you want to connect with your table. So if I have already table, so I can select this table by clicking here, and you can straight away click to load. But I will choose transform. I will tell you I mean why. Now it is creating, establishing a connection basically between my excel file with the help of power query if you guys can see on the screen uh, the title here is power query editor right so this is the window of power query within power bi so don't get confused there will be, as i told you before there will be two windows one is to connect data if i press alt tab see what will happen now I am seeing Power BI. This is the canvas I mean, of creating dashboard. If I press all tabs, so this is the Power Query. You can see on the on on the left side. Here it is, right? So this is Power Query. Within Power Query, what we can do is we can minim uh, sorry we can transform our data the way we want. First thing I noticed that I have mapping table as well. So let's call the mapping table within Power BI. And you can connect directly from Power Query or you can uh, take help of Power BI as well. Right, so what I can do here is new data source. Okay, Excel. It will jump back to that folder. Why? Because we just connected our data uh, base from this folder. So this time I will select mapping table. Now I will tell you what mapping table have the relationship between my 2017 PML data. Here we have, uh, I mean, same, same way we have a sheet option and table option. So I'll be selecting table option, press OK. Now realize there are two queries. One is the mapping sec and the first one is the uh, data income statement. For data income statement, what I'm going to do is to rename it 2070. Right, I will tell you, I mean, why I am doing this, but not now. Uh, let me take a few minutes. One more thing, we can duplicate um, any query anytime. We can have a reference query as well. Right, so there are two things. You can have duplicate query by selecting duplicate option or reference query. Reference query is the replica of previous, uh, I mean, the query which you have just have selected or you will select. Uh, duplicate query, it contains same information, but you can edit in duplicate query. So I will select duplicate query, right click, and here is this is the option, duplicate. I selected duplicate and what I will do, I will press the name consolidate or PNL table. Okay. Simple. I will, uh, I will, uh, I'm going to name it as PNL. So I will be using PNL, but before that, we have to do uh, some tasks. So let me do first 
the transformation steps on 2017 data. Okay. If I go back to mapping table now, did you realize one thing? We have only IS, income statement. We do not have any balance sheet items. So I can straight away remove by using Excel formulas contains income statement only. So I can mention here IS. If you like, you can mention dash as well and press OK. So it will filter out balance sheet. So we don't require balance sheet. That was the first step. Second, uh, this is the, the database. So you, you need to be very careful whether it's a text, decimal, whole number, percentage, date, time, etc. So this is text, of course, ABC is equal to text. This is also text. These 12 months are numbers, okay? So we have two options. Either I can select all of the months and select convert into unpivot or I can select other two columns and right click here and I will ask Power Query to select this option, unpivot other columns. Now see what will happen. All of the months will be in column C under the name attribute. Wow, great, period. So I will name it as period, right? So we have values, okay, that's fine, so that's it. But Period, I have to define it if I'm going to use a time intelligence feature. So I have to select the date formatting. This is really very important. Uh, just understand it. Okay, the next step is to see what the mapping is. Okay, mapping says that IS-1XX. Okay, I can do one more thing. I can go here and select replace. I will replace X with none because the other two digits are of no use, okay? So that's the trick, you need to understand. Right click and here we have different options. We I cannot do the same way because there is no X, but there, there may be zero, one, one. So I can split column, right? Uh, we'll split option, yeah, here it is. I can split by number of characters. If you notice uh, uh, maximum of the things are same as like in Excel. So I have selected once as far as left possible and four. So I selected four columns. I need only first four digit. So I removed extra column created, double click it and I can rename it color. Now it is done. Now you will realize IS-1 and in mapping, both have IS dash one. Oh, that's great. That's the thing we wanted for each and every table, not only for 2017, but for 2018 as well. Okay. I will create uh, now duplicate uh, comes here. So I'll create duplicate option. Name it like um, data table. Okay. Data table or uh, PNL, etc. I don't want 17, uh, this 2017 to be loaded in my Power BI so I can disable, okay? So you can disable it because I don't want extra data there. Why I created this date table? Because I want this date table to be part of my data model group so I can create a group, for example. I can name it as data model and I need mapping also in data model so I can move into uh, these two under the data model. Great. Now we have under the data model mapping and data table. That's it, right? And in others, we have 2017. Okay, let's go back to Power BI by clicking here, close and apply, simply. So I select it, close and apply. It will take few seconds. Uh, okay, I believe you guys can see my Power BI canvas page because I just saw a pop-up window appear. Screen sharing paused. Maybe I'm in for a few seconds. But if any time you don't see, please uh, write on the chat box. All right, now see what happens. This is Power BI. It contains three main um, um, uh, options. First one is the report. You can see this is the canvas, okay, where you will be preparing 
or we will be preparing visualization. Second is the data. If you want to see the data, if you want to see data table, you can select data table and you will see, oh, great, this is the data. If you want to see mapping, you can see the mapping as well, great. So, and the last one is the relationship. This is really very, very important. Once you have pulled all of your required data within data model, right? So you need to create a right relationship. You need to identify what is the primary key. Okay, you need to um, have, you need to create a relationship between the primary keys and uh, secondary keys options are there if you guys are well versed in Microsoft Excel, so you will be well aware of uh, primary key options. Okay, let me go back here under the data and I will tell you what are the primary keys. If you remember this IS-1. Uh, actually, I just uh, saw screen is paused. I think you can see. All right, so uh, code main account sources. If I click other data, now you will see under the amounts, is dash three dash one dash two dash three dash four five is there so they uh, account and code has a relationship so we can create a relationship between account and code and that is very simple how just drag code over account and it will create a relationship automatically if you want to see what is the relationship you can double click this line or you can just hover your cursor it will tell you a code over account but if you want to see what uh, uh, goes behind it. So here you can see IS-3, IS-3 is equal to operational expenses. So these three will fall under operational expenses. Don't get confused if your value uh, is not showing, I'm mean showing as zero. So we can fix it within Power Query. I will tell you later on how, or how we can go with it. Okay, now I will create another table. That's very important if you want to utilize the time intelligence feature. Right, I am going to create another table. The name dates is equal to calendar auto. So there is a function. You just need to write it calendar auto, bracket start, bracket close, and hit enter. And see the magic, what will happen. Let me go back to data view. Now realize it picked all of the dates from your data table PD from pre -read. oh, that's great. So it has created additional <coughs> table based on it. Great, so now I can create another relationship date over period, that's great. Yes, now we have two tables, right? Here, we have two tables and uh, now I'll be picking dates from there and uh, uh, I can pick main account from mapping table. Once you are done, I don't need code and account anymore. I don't want to uh, see them in my Power BI so I can hide. If you don't hide, that's okay. But I mean, some of the time you get too many columns so it distracts you. I don't need period because, because I'll be calculating from, I'll be picking dates from dates table instead of this uh, uh, data table. Right. <clears throat> Okay, now, last thing. Go back to your uh, Power BI report canvas and select metrics options. So here are the visuals. So first I will go and select the visual. Uh, for example, if you want to pull uh, logo, you can click insert and image. And from the image, you can go to your required folder and pick the logo. For example, I pick this logo and you can resize and you can paste as per your need. And if you want text box, so you can place this text box on top, resize, right? So I will save the time and for example, P and L report i will go for ariel black and i will go for 24. i don't know some of the times i'm seeing screen sharing is paused uh, don't know for what reason it is 
but hopefully you guys can see my screen. I will minimize this uh, filter option. Okay. Now see, what I have to do is I am going to pick values. Okay. From mapping table and main account. That's it. Right. So here it is. Let me select focus mode and I will just have a little bit bigger. Yeah. Now you can see cost of sales, description, finance cost. Great. It has created this PL automatically for you. Right. Because we created some relationship here. Okay. And I picked data from the main account from here. But problem is, there are two problems. One is I can see expenses are in with plus sign and uh, revenue is in negative sign. So this is my first problem. So what I can do here, I can write a DAX mayor. Okay, I will select data table. I can create a new mayor, right? I can go back to home. I can create a new mayor. Mayor is US dollar or amount? For example, these are dollars. I want in thousand. Okay. So what I can do, I can write a simple formula, which is the same like in Microsoft Excel. I have to pick value. Sorry, not period. I have to pick values. Okay. And multiply by minus one because I want other side and divided by 1000 because I want uh, values to be shown in thousand. Now see what will happen if I click this visual, uh, sorry, this measure. Okay. Now see, <clears throat> cost of sales, this depreciation, let me have a bigger view so that you can see easily, right? So all of the values are correct now and revenue comes here. But the only problem is there is no sequence. You want sequence. So for sequence, I have to fix one thing. And that's why I created a mapping table under the column sequence. So I need this sequence. I can select main account and I can sort it by sequence. That's the technique, right? So that was the second thing. Now you will see, uh, just don't let me click and close the view. Now it is correct. Revenue, cost of sales, operational expenses, depreciation. Now do one more thing. I don't need now sum of values, so you can remove it. Great. Oh, yeah, great. Now I need dates. Now dates I can drop on columns. Now see what will happen. You will see there is another date, uh, so there is another column, but we have this hierarchy level as well. So if I click hierarchy to be expanded, now you can see you have data based on quarter what if i select one more time oh great you have data in months as well great i don't want data day basis so i can remove so we have month wise data if you want you can have quarter wise data you can have year wise data so far there is only one year so it is showing you only for this uh, month and one more thing if you want at the bottom instead of total i can select this visual i can go here and i can select total i think okay i can replace column total yeah uh, no not column total i think this is row total yes row total i want for row total net income slash under the bracket loss if it shows you minus sign it should show loss now you can see it is perfect now right here it is net loss so wherever you will find profit now it is showing uh, profit then loss 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 and uh, accumulated loss you can see right guys so now i am going to bring in more data but before bringing in more data let me show you one more thing what if i drop description under uh, let me select this visual first yeah what if i drop description under main head main account 
now see what will happen instead of column now i will select rows and i will select expand hierarchy data oh great now see what's happening here you can see your data based on royalties uh, i mean revenue cost of sales for example you don't want to see these two lines or one line you can minimize manually right i don't want to see description has only one line financial cost one line so you can minimize accordingly so that is the technique right guys so taxation you can minimize and all other you can minimize because only operation expenses have the highest uh, rows one more thing we just realized there are extra lines for example consumable and cleaning if it doesn't have value i don't want to see okay this you can fix okay let's discuss the last part to bring in more years and fix this issue so for this you need to go back to your transform data for example i'm going back here now we will be under power query if i let you show this is the power query right so we are under the power query i can do here is uh, the same way which i did i mean uh, previously for example i can create a duplicate i can create another duplicate okay so i can rename all for example i want this for 2018 and the other one i want for 2019 okay we can go step by step i can select from the source and go back to my data here browse and i can select this time instead of 17 excel oh sorry 18 so i selected 18 but it will show you error because of 2017 mentioned in the uh, code so if you know about n code you can directly go back here under the view and you can copy paste this code bring in microsoft excel for example i just opened a new excel file and i can press f2 and hit enter that's it i can select this option under uh, dash 17 and i can replace with dash 18 so once i click it will replace all of the 17 into 18 now once it is done you can copy paste this code control c go back here and replace it very simple press done i think a message appearing that screen sharing is now paused i don't know if you guys can see my screen okay meanwhile i'm moving forward for 2019 i will do same for 2019 right i have to go back to advanced editor okay i have to go back here and here i can change 18 into 19 or i can copy paste the same uh, i mean uh, for uh, same reference for example control c okay control v this time i need 17 to be changed into 19 and it will replace all of the years into 19 so once it is done i can copy paste this text go back here and press control a control v one one more thing i have to do manually because i change uh, i did not change it so i can change uh, instead of 17 i will write 19 now you will realize <laughs> under the 19 you have data for 19 if i select 18 it brought data and do all of the steps automatically right so this is the technique within power query for 17 we have 17 data the only thing you need to do is to combine all of the uh, files how you need to select data table because data table contains only 2017 files so here we have the option under the option you can uh, under the query option append query option 
you will be selecting this three options and select 18 and 19 and combine them. That's it. right. Now you will see there are 2018 and 19 data also available within data model. I can close and apply. Uh, guys, one more time, I'm asking if you can see my screen because uh, the screen was paused. I think you were not able to see how I did in Microsoft Excel, but anyways, that's fine. Okay, now I can select refresh button and you will wonder to see there are more years in our report. Right? So why it is not showing? Because column and here it is. If I go back here, Okay, now let, let me see one more thing for data table. Let me see if I have all of the years. So how we can check if we have all of the years, you can go back to Power Query by selecting, uh, if I go back here, by selecting data transformation. <clears throat> Only uh, I mean, a few more minutes I require. So you can select data model and if you want to check any time, so you can select period and transform. Here you can select date, and here you can select years and select year. Now you will see if I select, so you have all of the years, 2017, if I select 2018 and 19, now you'll be able to see uh, 19 data. Great, so what you can do, you can simply remove the last steps which we did because we don't require these steps. Okay, now all done. Go back here. Now we need to insert a slicer on our report. For example, I want slicer of years. Go back to date hierarchy, select year. And under years, I need slicer. So I need slicers as list. And if I go back here i can go to slicer setting and set to horizontal that's it that's the simple technique which we can use to have slicer this way right if i select 2018 now see you will be able to see the data for the year 2018 yes that's great if i want to see 2017 you will see 2017 data, 2019, 2019 data. Right, guys, so this, this was the technique. If you want, for example, other visuals, so you can create other visuals very easily. I'm going to create a visual, for example, here. So I want year-wise PNS. So what I can select, I can select year to date. Okay, and if I go back here, I don't want legends. I want details as all the labels. Yeah, that's it. Now, the last thing required is I need to select a view map. Sorry, if I need to select, uh, first of all, this uh, slicer, then under the heading format, then edit interaction. For edit interaction, I don't want my this visual, if you can see this visual, uh, let me have a little bit down. Yeah, if I select uh, my this life, I don't want this to be changed. So this way, even if I select 2018, 2019, it will still show you the data, uh, I mean the PNL, uh, the net income or net loss for these years. Same way you can do with the help of, uh, uh, I mean, this option for quarters as well, if you want to do. Right, guys, so th this is the technique that by which you can create mapping, you can uh, merge all of the files into one, you can create these relationships, you can create this DAX as I shown you on the screen, you have different kind of uh, data. If you have more years, you can combine more years 
uh, or you can bring more years into your data model and you ha you can have a one one page report for you right so that's all from my side what i'll be doing i'll be sharing of course this pbix file the final version of course with you guys and uh, uh, the pdf presentation so that's all from my side so let's see what are what are the questions so i think mr nuruddin surani will be helping me to read the questions so that we can answer Uh, yes, Nuruddin Sorani, are you there? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, can we uh, can we go for the question and answer sessions? Sure. So, guys, if you have any questions uh, on the topic, please type on the chat box so we can answer those guys. Or if anybody want to open up so he can open his mic and uh, can ask. But we can entertain very few, keeping view the time limit. Also on the on the group uh, uh, post where we have posted about this webinar, you can post your questions over there. Uh, and we are going to share the PowerPoint and the recording once it is being edited. So far, we do not have any questions. Not yet. So I think Asif, uh, we are gonna uh, take questions on either on our group or they can send me or yourself in through email. We can share it with the other participants too. And after the recording is being edited, we are going to share it with the participants. All right, all right, that, that, that's fine. All right, thank you so much, Asif, for taking out time for this wonderful session. And we wish you very good luck and keep learning, keep sharing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody. And thank you, Nuruddin Sorani, for special thanks and the excellent advice. So thank you, everybody. We'll meet again, inshallah. See you next time. Looking forward. Bye-bye.